Hi, everybody. We're yeah. just at commercial break coming back, and I can't help but gab to the wonderful Joseph Gordon Levitt, who is back oh. on our show. Um, you have this new film that I've been watching, and actually, Shailene Woodley was here yesterday. Yeah, isn't she the best? She's my favorite part of this movie, too. She, I love her look in it, too. She doesn't look like she does she in other films. She fabulous. Yeah, yeah. I know. She's such a beautiful woman. Yeah. And I think we're about to celebrate these really big milestones of a bunch of films in your body of work, 500 Days of Summer, mm. which is just, it's a masterpiece. Yeah, it does. <laughs> It just, and I was saying at the commercial break, I actually had read the script um, as a writing sample for the writers, um, and then to see how it got translated onto screen with directing and acting. And you lifted it off the page in such a brilliant way, but it just had all these ways of describing the human experience through relationships that no one ever saw before. Mm -hmm. It was such an original. Yeah, thank you. And thank you were such a likable person. Uh, in it. So this is the thing that I feel like, this is what I would want to say to folks who love that movie. If you go back and watch it again, if you feel like Oh, I, movie I again. watch it every couple of years, so please, okay. I want to hear this. So, like, the, the character is, he's very likable, but it's also, the thing about that movie is it's from his point of view. It's not a movie that's from his and her mm -hmm. point of view. So, of course, we all think that we are really likable and that we are right and that, you know, whoever disagrees with us or dumps us in a relationship is wrong. But actually, that's just our bias, and right? And half the story. Yeah, that's only half the story. We're always seeing it from our own point of view. This is a great way to rewatch it. I also want to bring up that you just had a beautiful baby girl. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yes. How do you feel about your life experience when you look at your beautiful little girl? It's, it's funny you say that. It's, it's sort of my favorite, not my favorite. One of the things I love about being a dad is that you feel like you've gone back in a time machine in a way. You feel like you're getting to live your life again in a way, but from a different angle. Because they're experiencing so many of the things that I remember experiencing, whether it's learning to walk or going to school or learning a skill and it's hard at first, but you have to keep working on it and then finally you get it. But of course, I remember it from my perspective, yeah. not from their perspective. But now I'm getting to experience it again from the dad perspective. It's like going on a, you know, there's that Joni Mitchell song about a, a merry-go-round or a, a carousel. Like, yes. You know? So um, I, I understand um, that you speak French. A little bit. I was wondering, um, would you be able to speak about your film um, as we uh, depart this beautiful conversation in French? Dang, all right. Uh, mon film, mon film. Killer Hit. <laughs> it s'appelait Killer Hit. Uh, C'est un film détective, film noir. Et uh, tu, tu vas adorer ce film. C'est un, uh, un film que tu... Tu t'assis euh, sur le... Non. Tu vas mettre les sous-titres ici, euh, alors euh, les, les, la, la publique peut lire ce que je dis ou non Non. OK. Euh... All I'm thinking is we. Oui. Ouais. I think we all are. Ouais. 